hi in this video we'll take a look at our color picker and how we can pick colors uh, and also see uh, information about the colors we pick now the first option here sample merged by default the color picker picks the color of only one pixel but if you press this here and let's say turn the radius up click and hold you can see this square indicator which indicates the region that uh, the color picker is sampling from. You see here how the colors turn. If you just have yellow, if you have some yellow and uh, red, you get this kind of orange color. Now let's turn that off. <coughs> what sample merge means that you get to pick the information of the colors or on uh, all visible layers. Now here the pick mode uh, means that you can only pick a color without assigning it to your background, foreground or to a palette. Let's see what that means. Uh, hold your shift key and click and you get this dialog box. We will get to see uh, information about the pixel, the red, the amount of green, the amount of blue here you get to see the percentage of that you have the hex code for the color you can also change these to different color spaces or to hue saturation and value see the hue the saturation of the color the value let's close that if you want to see this every time this dialog box check this option and every time you click you'll see it but i recommend you leave that off and uh, just hold your shift key every time you want it to see that dialog box because sometimes you just want to assign a color here sometimes you want to check the information now the set foreground color is when we click we will set our foreground color the set background color means that we will set our background color add to a palette means we are going to add the color to a palette we will talk about pal palettes in uh, another video in detail so basically that's it uh, here our color selection dialog provides us with many options we can pick a color but for now we're not going to discuss that we'll discuss it when we finish our tools we have a lot to cover here but for now just know how you can pick colors and assign them that's it for now bye